Hey there guys, this is Ignite the Fire and welcome back to a brand new episode of my Skylar's Trap Team Let's Play for Nintendo Wii U. This is episode number 5, so hopefully in this episode we can complete chapter 5, known as Chef Zeppelin 200%. And so our first present is a level up ball. Do we get a second one? No, not today, it would seem. But either way, before we head up for the level, uh, there is something I want to show you. So basically what Ian said, and sorry if I'm a bit uh, sniffle today, uh, sniffles today, is I've just got a cold, that's all pretty much. But yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to trap for Broccoli Guy and for Chompy Mage, because we're going to need them uh, for their villain quests later on in the level. So now let's go and grab the Chompy Mage, but make sure to put him in a different trap, however. Because if we put, like, if we um, replace the trap that Broccoli Guy was in with Trompy Mage, then we would no longer have Broccoli Guy trapped. So that'd be kind of foolish on my behalf, because I want to make sure that I um, complete both of the quests and not just one of them. You see, yeah, that's cool. Trompy Mage has now been uh, trapped, and so has Broccoli Guy. So without further ado, let's get into the level already. But before we do so, I'm going to go ahead and swap out for a uh, classic Skylander in the form of Sun Moon, the only character from Spice Adventure who hasn't had a repose yet. Poor Sun Moon. He must feel so left out at this point. So that's why we're going to give him the spotlight he deserves. Yeah, you bet we should. No, not really. <laughs> I mean, like, she wouldn't exactly be missing much, if you know what I mean, Flynn. So now we just got to wait for this to finish loading up, and then we got a nice, awesome shooting section to look forward to afterwards. I just think of it, that was a really fast loading screen. So thank you, Trap Team, for having short loading screens. Unlike, uh, I'm just going to swap horse, but we... Okay, that was quite an impressive signal right there. Flynn screaming yet again. Nothing different there. Yeah, that's the whole idea, Flynn. Yeah, basically, as we shoot, Flynn's basically just going to give us um, his inspiring words while we shoot. Oh, and, uh, you guys can actually see it, but I was using, like, for quotation fingers uh, while doing um, inspiration right now. Because trust me, there's nothing inspirational about this guy, he's just annoying, it reminds me of the traps actually. Imagine if we trapped Flynn, because he was a villain all along, and like, then he would just talk to us every five seconds and wouldn't shut up. Yeah, helicopter backpacks are pretty dang cool if you ask me. No worries, Flynn, I just uh, shot it down alright. So now let's get hit in this, and of course, the uh, winged sapphires that are right beside it. Nice, we got excellent on that one, so that definitely helped our points bonus. Okay, so when we charge up our elemental attack, we can unleash it and bring about destruction to everyone who's on the receiving end. <laughs> so basically, put it like this you want to be dishing out the elemental attack, not uh, receiving it. I think that's the same for any sort of attack in all fairness. Boom, now those guys are all down. And not only are they down, but they're also out because I'm awesome like that. Take that, stupid troll. I think we took a minor hit right there, but nothing that's going to affect us or in any way. Mostly because these shooting sections are very, very easy. Pretty much. Okay, I do apologise but that there wasn't an episode yesterday, guys. It's just that yesterday, um, I was way too busy. Um, I went into town and went to the cinema and stuff because basically I'm trying to make uh, get my money out of my um, Cine World like unlimited card. And so I went to go and see uh, two movies yesterday. And when I got back, it was late, so I couldn't really be bothered to film anything. So I just um, recorded my um, reacting to Skylanders Academy episode and. Um, 
I swear there was something else they uploaded. Oh yeah, I finished editing my um, 3DS Let's Play uh, episode. But to make up for that, um, we're not going to have one episode of um, for Let's Play today, and we're not even going to have two either. We're going to have three, three full episodes today, and that's going to go for uh, that's going to be the same for 3DS Let's Play as well. Yeah, and another thing that's happening is that um, over the rest of the week I'm going on holiday as well, so that basically means that there won't be any uploads between Monday and Friday. But the weekend afterwards I'm probably going to have mad uploads and stuff because I'm going to record stuff while I'm out now. Eh? Nice. Yeah, those guys, they be roasted soon. Okay, so now we've got to attack both of these walls, so uh, and bring him down with our tomato gun. How impressive, you guys are probably thinking. A tomato gun? Yeah. I wish I had a tomato gun, just fire tomatoes into my uh, mouth like crazy. You know, I actually like tomatoes. It's funny, there's many foods that uh, before I never even liked, but now I love so many different foods. Like, before I never liked cheese, I love cheese these days. I never liked tomatoes, I love tomatoes these days, you know. In fact, scratch that, I don't even want a tomato launcher, I want an all-you-can-eat buffet launcher. So then I can have anything I wanted, I could just launch it into my mouth and eat it and it'll be so mouth-watering and delectable and I'll love it. <laughs> Reminds me of um, that one movie, Cloudy of a Chance Meatballs, man, that movie sucks, but trust me, having something like that in real life would be much better than how the movie uh, portrayed it to be. For Flynn's day of my fur, definitely want one of those bad boys. I need to get in touch with uh, Flint Lockwood. But if we, uh, we collect uh, plenty of them coins right there, even though Sunburn's maxed out on gold, so we don't even need it. <laughs> okay, let's take out this troll right here before he starts causing us harm. Boom. Oh, wow. How is he not dead already? Stupid troll. <laughs> he literally died for that because that troll is stupid. Oh, wait, and we've got another one right here to look forward to. Take this. Take my flamethrower. Actually, he's more powerful than um, what meets the eye, because after you, like, charge up his flame blast for long enough, it um, charges up and becomes super powerful, as you can see right now. But either way, we need a light element trap master, so uh, for that, we're going to bring in the only light element trap master in the form of Nightlight, who takes up half of the camera, quite literally. I mean, like, look at this guy, he's crazy. And he's also the tallest um, figure at this point, but hey, that's fine because he has so much detail. I love I love this guy's figure, and I love this guy's gameplay. He's one of my favorite characters out there, trust me on that. He's just too damn awesome. Ooh, we have a troll radio over here. If only Skylanders could head bop, that'd be so hilarious. That would, like, even add to the effect of a troll radio so much. Oh, and we got our uh, cash prize. That's awesome. Okay, so now I believe we got to jump up here and push this uh, over there. We can't quite get to that yet, so we need to jump up here. Push that there. And then I believe we can uh, push this to the side or something. Hopefully I'm right by that. It would seem so. Here we go, now I have access to the hat. So without further ado, let's get um, unlocking it. And it takes up the form of whatever that thing is. <laughs> The juicer hat. Well, while it is a cool hat, we're not going to wear it because our Faro hat is cool enough as it is. I mean, look at it. How can you not like the thing? Oh, by the way, if you double jump with this guy, he can actually fly. So that's awesome. Oh, and don't forget the story scroll. Go and go ahead and grab that. I didn't grab it with Sunburn because I wanted to give this guy the experience, even though when it comes to level 12, you don't actually gain much experience from it. So, yeah. Let's get rid of the scroll already, then. Okay then, <laughs> that explains many of my uh, questions that I have towards this game. Many, many of them. I mean, that, I mean one. <laughs> oh man, I really want to sneeze right now, but I'm not going to because it's so rude to sneeze now my camera. But what we are going to do is we're going to swap to an air trap master. <coughs> okay guys, you just sneezed, but it was away from the camera, so hopefully you guys didn't hear it. Trust me, I'm trying to be as polite as possible about this. But hey, as a total normal um, human reaction to sneeze, so you know, um, if I don't sneeze, I'm kind of not human, so it's a good thing I am just so I can prove I'm human, and oh darn, I missed that. 
I also make a mistake like all humans do. And if you do not make mistakes, I'm sorry person, but you're not a human. Swap this guy around so you can see him a bit better. Just not in front of a camera better. Yeah, there we go. That's a much better angle for you guys, hopefully. <laughs> okay, let's get opening up this villain stash already. See uh, what treasure awaits. A bunch of it, it would seem. Not cool, platform. Come back. I will whack my stick at you until you do. So now let's be uh, opening that hat over there. Oh, by the way, I love this guy's chompy puppet. His chompy puppet is cute. Okay, let's get opening this quickly so we can get back on the platform before it leaves us. Which, knowing my luck, it probably will anyway. And, ooh, that's an interesting one, actually, for Scooter. That reminds me of if Dark like Crypt, where they're just like, they're not like Schooner, just, they're just like, Schooner! In the most pirated voice ever. And you can say that with a Scooter hat as well, it can just be like, Scooter! So yeah, why not bring in the pirate within me? Because <laughs> it's totally there, guys. You, you, you just don't know about it yet. The fire element is strong on the zone, but you know what? We're not even going to bother swapping out for this fire skylander. Little shortcut there, guys. So what you could do is you could go uh, to the left of it. It's a much more safer route, but the right is um, a, a kind of like the high risk, high reward kind of uh, sector because it's much faster. But all what you need to do to survive the right route is know where, what the jump button is. So as long as you know that, you know I'm pretty sure you're going to be just fine. And luckily for me, I do. So that's why you know I gone ahead and took that risk right now. I could have died, but I didn't. So that's what matters. Okay, let's get striking some more stuff. And by the way, interesting thing about yesterday is that, like I said, I was using up my um, Cine World ticket, trying to get, like, the best out of my card. And um, what I saw was I saw um, Blade Runner, which, uh, oh, and this is a new one, by the way, the new one that's in cinemas, Blade Runner 2049. And that movie was not that good in all fairness. I found myself very, very bored at sections. And if, considering it's about a two and a half hour movie, only two or three things that are actually exciting occur. I know it's supposed to like set up for a whole story or something like that, but overall it is not that good. Trust me on that, guys. I, I wouldn't really recommend it if you're not a fan of just sitting down and just watching movies. Because like I said, it has some really boring parts to it. If you like exciting movies, though, you're not going to find it here. Yeah, he just wants to cook for Broccoli Guy right here. Not cool, dude. Why would you want to cook for Broccoli Guy? I mean, I'm sure he can't even taste it good anyway. I mean, like, who likes Broccoli? I'm kidding, Broccoli's awesome. Oh, yeah, sorry you heard that notification right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn it off, so I'll be right back, guys. There we go, I just turned off my uh, notification sound, so hopefully you guys won't hear it again. Without further ado, let's get swapping uh, out for the uh, Broccoli Guy already. I just realised I've been like accidentally hitting the portal in different positions while trying to get to the gamepad. <laughs> My bad, guys. But yeah, as for the other movies, so I saw two movies in one day. So you know, definitely making for most of um for money we spent on such a uh, cine world uh, unlimited pass. And so what I uh, the other thing I saw was um, Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. And I tell you what, that was actually a really really surprising movie. I've never been more surprised by a movie in my life. That movie. It's actually really, really cool. Like, the writing is very, very clever, especially for a kids' animated car, uh, show or movie, I should even say. Because you would think for a kids' sh uh, movie, such as Captain Underpants, it would just be, like, incredibly lazy. But no, this one has effort, it has a heart. And I loved, like, almost every moment of it. It was really, really funny, really, really um, action-packed. And I loved the um, animation style on it as well. It was a very nice animation style. So, um, yeah, definitely um, enjoyed um, Captain Underpants. Definitely a huge surprise for me, as I uh, previously mentioned. Yes, I know I did. I know I blowed your mind but just by telling you that um, for Captain Underpants movie, it's actually a great movie. You see, if I can blow Bokki Guy's mind, I can blow anybody's mind. It's that simple, guys. But either way, um, we're not going to head uh, to where we need to go at first, because first of all, we need to head over here to grab Chopper's uh, Soul Gem. Which is the only Soul Gem of a level, actually, so uh, let's go ahead and preview it without further ado. Yeah. 
yeah, Chopper's got that beast roar right there. Come to think of it, a lot of Skylanders have roaring attacks this year. Like Chopper's a roaring attack, Wildfire's a roaring attack. Well, actually, come to think of it, when I say a lot, I mean two. <laughs> but still, two Skylanders having the same like attack. Even for Skylanders that has this many characters, that's rare. I mean, like, sure, there's lots of Skylanders with swords, but each one uses their sword in a different way. I mean, like, look at, um, Thunderbolt here. He doesn't use his sword in the same way that Nightlight does. I mean, sure, he uses it to attack enemies, but he creates small thunderstorms with it, see? Oh, and here's a uh, Percy phone, yet again. Yeah, if you're triggered, tell me in the comment section below, because I love triggering people. But either way, uh, let's go ahead and acquire this upgrade right here. As for this bomb, however, we're not going to utilize it just yet. And then there's this troll right here, he's sleeping on the job. Some sort of weird glitch, but a cool one at that as well. Yeah, that's why I love this game so much, it has so many awesome glitches. Like, it's the most glitchiest game, but by that I mean, um, it hasn't got game-breaking glitches, unlike Superchargers, it has fun glitches. Which you actually need to go out of your way to actually discover. Take this, suckers. Hehe, <laughs> yeah. Piece of cake, honestly. Didn't even break a sweat. Or a thunder lightning cloud thing. <laughs> In Thunderbolt's case. If, if that made any sort of sense to you guys. There we go. Got him. Nice. We got him. Level up. Oh, not quite. Oh, or is it? Ah, oh, yes, level up, barely. That's awesome. So yeah, Thunderbolt is now level 7. But either way, here comes Trompy Majors, uh, Villain Quest. That sounds exciting. Not like Trompy's dangerous or anything. Uh, sorry, mate, but I'm not really surprised. Mr. Cookie. Oh, that's the best name ever. I want that name. Parents, why couldn't you give me a cool name like Cookie? Did it have to be Aaron? I'm kidding. I love my name, guys. My name is Awesome. Aaron for Awesome at the end of the day. But either way, let's get swapping out for Chompy Mage without further ado. Chompy Power! Never knew Chompies were such great singers. Okay, this is what the Skylanders team needs to do for Skylanders uh, 7. You need to make a Chompy Choir. Like, I would buy the entire game just for the Chompy Choir alone. That would be so awesome. Activision, if you're watching this, do that. <laughs> and if anybody else is watching this that likes this idea, make sure it gets uh, free to Activision. Because, trust me, a Chompy Choir, oh, that would be so sick. In fact, maybe I should do a skit about that, guys. How does that sound? A chompy um, choir skit. I mean, it'll be hard to make, mind you, but I think I could do it. So, uh, maybe I'll do it first. Maybe I'll um, teach Activision how they should be treating the Skylanders franchise. Even though fans have been doing that for the last uh, five years. But still, I'll do it anyway. So, uh, this part's almost done right here. So, now we can exit without further ado. Yeah, pretty simple puzzle, that one. Not hard or whatsoever. So let's be grabbing our treasure chest right here. So yeah, if you guys are interested by a Chompy Choir skit, definitely um, leave it in the comment section below. Because, you know, I want to make what you guys want to see, pretty much. I don't want to just make stuff for the sake of making it. I don't want to make stuff just for the sake of getting views. I want to do stuff which I enjoy recording and you guys enjoy watching. But it's hard to make a um, channel based on the viewers if the viewers don't tell me what, the, um, what they actually want from me, pretty much. So yeah, I'm always willing to improve, I'm always um, listening to, uh, willing to listen to criticism. Because criticism makes me better, whether you like it or not. No, no matter how harsh it is, it makes me better. So, I'd rather hear you guys, like, insulting me and saying, oh, this could be better, rather than you guys just compliment me all the time, honestly. Even though it is really nice, I love you guys, love and support. Oh, don't worry, I had plans to do that anyway. Anyway, your 
doing great. And now you just need to get the key over there. And use it to open that door to the crew area. Consider it done, but first of all, we're going to swap out for Scarlet and Ingenie without further ado. And then I love the light core effect. I mean, like, look at that. But the only thing is, is that after I crop this down, I'm probably going to end up decapitating her again. She's too tall for this. So, Ingenie, if I um, cut off your head in the editing, I am sorry. <laughs> that would be kind of similar to what I did in uh, the uh, Swap Force Let's Play. Which is funny, mind you, but also not cool. Ingenie did not appreciate it afterwards. Nice, we got him. Take that, sucker. So now let's go opening up this chest right here. That's a whole bunch of treasure right there. It's just a shame it's going to waste for, uh, waste for Scarlet and she needs to already maxed out. Well, man, I can't believe I forgot she's maxed out, though. I thought she still needed a good bit yet. <laughs> I thought wrong, pretty much. So let's get um, exiting without further ado. So yeah, I uh, picked Ninjini for a good reason, purely because um, this area right here is dedicated to the magic element. And not to mention that gate right there, you can either use a bomb or you can use a giant, and I chose to use a giant just for like time and efficiency and stuff. Okay, let's get slicing some enemies. Take that, son. Okay, let's go into our bottle form right here. You're not going to survive this, Mr. Bruiser Cruiser thingy. Told ya. Okay, bring on the bad guy. Okay, from here this guy is incredibly easy. Like, all you need to do is avoid his uh, purple fire things and then you go, pretty much. Oh boy, right when I say he's easy as well. <laughs> kind of had that one come in. Okay, we're going to avoid that and then we're going to swap out for um, her potion thing. Thing of what's in the barb. Boom, there we go. Took him out nice and easily. So without further ado, we're going to get a magic trap into the portal. No, I'm pretty sure it's pretty bad. <laughs> don't worry, I picked the turtle holding bombs, alright, bombshell. We don't, uh, we're not going to use Rage Mage just yet because he doesn't show up until later in the game. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab this key right here with uh, Mr. Bombshell himself. And So what we're going to do is we're going to save his uh, timer for later, and then we're going to unleash him when the enemy is least expect it. Yeah, don't worry, reinforcements will be needed soon, I can assure you. Oh, oh yeah, by the way, that's the bomb that you would use to destroy the wall before. Basically, just uh, head up that uh, super bounce pad right there, and then you'd um, use it on the wall, which we use, which we destroyed with Ingenie. So I basically just by using Ingenie save for time of um, using that super bounce pad uh, and the bomb to destroy the wall um, instead. And we even got a piece of uh, pizza from that, so that's um, not only delicious but useful at the same time. It is indeed. Not cool Chef Pepper Jack, not cool. You tell me all strongs are high, all cooks are high strong because um, that's not true. That's very stereotypical. Guys do not be like Batterson and assume stuff. I mean, like stereotyping is not a good thing. I hate stereotypes. <laughs> Sky stone smash. Yeah, sorry for the stupid voices, guys. I just have to make them. You know, I have to, right? Okay, this is like literally a perfect description. This is exactly how I describe it. 
that's why it's perfect. Anything, if these NPCs do anything like I would do it, that makes it a perfect like thing to do because I do everything perfect. I'm kidding, guys. Oh wow, free cuckoo clockers. Game, I don't think I have enough cuckoo clockers right now. Okay, uh, the choice is either cuckoo clocker, cuckoo clocker, or cuckoo clocker. Let's go with cuckoo clocker. How does not placing your skystone there make you shy? I'm confused. Batterson, you make no sense. Fun. <laughs> I love taking damage, not really. Okay, let's just use this cuckoo clock right here. Yeah, well, that's because I'm betting you, so just deal with it and let me win already. Harsh much? Yeah, that, that's me for you guys. <laughs> but hey, the NPCs, their feelings can't be hurt, right? Okay, now let's use uh, the gold par. Ah, oh, no, the sheep took me down, but I also took down the sheep, so it's a win-win situation, pretty much. And not to mention, I also attacked him as well, so it's two birds with one stone, really. And now he's gonna die, so yeah, take that. Well, he's not actually gonna die, he's just gonna lose. So that's, like, dying this is a huge exaggeration for that. And sorry, guys, I kind of just, um, dropped the gamepad on you there. <laughs> so lewd on my behalf. But yeah, anyway, we have defeated Batterson. So we're not gonna bother with that, um, troll radio, because I've already done it once in this, uh, video here. And there is actually a, uh, fire gate right there, so we're gonna go ahead and swap out for... Kaboom, whose cannon takes up pretty much the whole space of the camera right here. I mean, look, 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 that cannon's gonna shoot you. Kaboom's crazy, he's shooting at the camera right now. So yeah, without further ado, let's go opening up this uh, gate right here. Oh yeah, actually, playing this Kaboom reminds me of my second ever contest. So basically, um, on this channel, I've done two contests. I've done my High Five contest, which um, Luke won, purely because he was the only one who actually entered. <laughs> And then um, I also did a Kaboom contest, and I had two entries for that one, and the person who actually won didn't actually even claim his prize. Bits in his behalf. So yeah, guys, if you're going to enter a contest, make sure to actually claim your prize if you win, because if you don't, that'd be kind of silly on your behalf. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to continue to make contests if winners don't even, like, claim their prize, because that's so dumb and stupid and stuff. Like, why would you enter contests just to not even, like, claim your prize at the end of it, if you do win that? That doesn't mean, like, not everyone can be a winner, right? But at the moment, with how many subscribers I have and how many people actually enter these contests, the, likely, the most likely thing is, is that on my next contest, if you enter it, you will probably win. You will have a 1 in 3 chance by the sounds of it. And if I have 3 different contests running at once, then you're definitely going to win one of them, put it like that. Because my rule is, once you win one contest, you can't win another. Unless you're Luke, which uh, he's won too, purely because he was the runner-up of a Kaboom contest. And so because the w uh, winner never claimed his prize, I had to choose him because um, there was nobody else the prize could go to. So he got two prizes because the winner never claimed his prize. <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? The importance of claiming uh, prizes right here. So there we go, uh, we've made plenty of cakes right here, they look delicious to say the least, so uh, let's get opening up this hat. We got a colander hat by the looks of it, hell yeah we're gonna wear this, this one's awesome. Yeah, you see what I mean, so hot that it's cool, says Kaboom, that, that makes for senses. No I'm kidding, it really don't, it's like me, it makes no sense whatsoever. I'm just firing everywhere, hoping that I hit stuff. That's basically Kaboom's uh, style. Nice. Plenty of uh, gold right now. Boinga, boinga. Okay, the Winged Sapphire has indeed been found. So let's jump back up here and head into our second Skystones uh, game, uh, Smash game of the episode right here. Hi, mister. Prepare to lose. Uh, yeah, of course you can. We have a scout on this, bruv. 
Oh, darn it. <laughs> Well, it seems like he was. No offense, uh, Con, Con, Con. Can't even say his name. <laughs> but yeah, I, I apologize, mate. I was only joking because by saying no offense after something, it doesn't make it any less offensive. So yeah. So let's uh, win Sky Stones already because this guy, he's a nothing in terms of Sky Stones. Anyway, I'm pretty sure he's actually someone, but in terms of Sky Stones, nothing. Okay, so the Doom Raiders all have some sort of special power, whether that's a heart boost giving you extra health, a uh, fireball which attacks every uh, stone on the board, um, lightning which which takes health away from your enemy, and then there's also, um, I swear there's one extra one, Sheepify which turns an enemy um, stone into a sheep, which that's probably the most useful one of all of them in all fairness. And now let's use Chill to take this guy down because we can take him down without being uh, destroyed ourselves. Shrednut is in the house, so we're gonna go with Bruiser Cruiser. Bruiser Cruiser versus Shrednut. What a fair fight. <laughs> Come to think of it, it is though, it's basically just a troll versus two trolls in a machine. But the cool thing about Bruce Cruiser is that it's not the machine doing the punches, um, the machine actually mimics what the troll does, so the troll actually does the punching himself. And so how fast do you actually see Bruce Cruiser punching is how fast the troll is actually punching um, in the machine. So yeah, it's actually quite impressive. It's, it's a cool touch that they actually had um, the troll itself doing the work and the machine just mimicking that. Darn, he had some Sky Stone surviving, but that doesn't matter because what does matter is that we uh, reduced his health to zero, and so we have indeed defeated Pot Roast. And now, without further ado, we can head out for the uh, boss fight with a very uh, low health Sky Under. So let's try not to die here, Kaboom. Got it? That'd be good. Oh, I just remembered <laughs> this boss fight is actually really tough, and I have very small army with me. I need to start bringing like better armies with me. How polite of you! Okay, uh, never mind, that's no longer polite. Yeah, I'm looking forward to just spicing things up, alright? Now take this, Mr. Thingy. <laughs> Mr. Thingy, that makes sense. He's not even a mister, he's a chef, huge difference, but either way I'm going to take that orange right there because that's going to help me heal up by 75 health, but hey, 75 health is important because if we get to a point where we only have 75 health remaining, you know, that means that that orange basically saved us. Okay, now I'll swap out for bomb, uh, shell, person, ow. Not the best choice, no fairness. But hey, he's doing alright actually. Ow, that also hurt. Yeah, but luckily for us, Kaboom has extra power here. Oh boy, that hurt though. Go away, you stupid fire, you're annoying me. There we go, that's much better, in it? And now i got some uh, things to jump over, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, right when I say I'm going to do that, I fail miserably. Whoa, boy. Yeah, we'll take off my Skylander, but taking off my Skylander will basically make me lose Kaboom, because taking off your Skylander there's actually a little bit of lag, where your Skylander doesn't, like, come off the portal immediately. Oh, there we go. Okay, now I can take him off. He survived that, luckily enough. So now, we're gonna go with a Swap Force combination, in the form of Blast Bomb, or should I even say Dark Blast Bomb? Try and say that five times faster. Dark Blast Bomb, Dark Blast Bomb, Dark Blast Bomb, Dark Blast Bomb, Dark Blast Bomb. That's the good thing of it, that ain't that hard. <laughs> Never mind, I take it back, you have no need to say that five times faster. Ooh, boy. That hurt quite a lot, in fact. Now take this. Take this for your treachery. Oh, boy. There's, like, fire everywhere. Like, I can't even see my character with all this fire all about the place. Whoa, boy, look at this. Look at this craziness. You're crazy, you know that, right, Mister Mister Chef Pepper Jack, sir? Oh boy, why am I even calling him sir anyway? That's polite, and why would he want to be polite to a villain? Maybe the Skylanders are just that gentlemanlike that they choose to be polite even to the villains. 
Oh boy, we're going to swap to Bombshell before we take too much damage from that right there. Boom, take this and that and this and that. There we go, now we uh, move on to the shockwaves. Hopefully I can jump over them better this time. Yeah, in nightmare mode they move a whole bunch more faster than what they do normally. You can trust me in that one, guys. Whoa, see what I mean? Very uh, fast moving. Very fast paced. Oh boy. Took some nasty damage right there. That was close right there, very much so. Ooh, but that was, uh, that wasn't close, that was, uh, very much failure right there. Nice, we got him. Take this, mate. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, nice, we're doing awesome right now. Watch out for that as well, because you know I don't like getting attacked. Getting attacked is not cool, and getting hurt is even worse than getting attacked. Actually, I like spicy. You sound like you make a really good meal. Can I try one of them? I mean, they'd be, they'd be spicy be on the leaf, but I don't really care. I mean, like, I love spice. Spicy stuff. It add, really adds to flavor and stuff, and I, I basically enjoy the flavor of, of spice pretty much. Sounds fun, but what we're going to do is we're not going to use uh, Blast, uh, Dark Blast Zone anymore, because he's um, kind of lost his um, a lot of health, pretty much. <laughs> so instead, we're going to go with Scorp. Purely because you can hit him from a distance, and he's very agile and maneuverable, pretty much. Not to mention, he didn't use him much on the Swap Force Let's Play, so it's about time he got the love he deserved. I mean, like, look at this guy. So far, he's annihilating him. Take this, son. Okay, let's charge up our thing. Thing and McBob. Yeah, this guy's actually doing really quite well so far. But let's uh, let's shut up about that before I jinx myself. Because if you guys have watched my 3DS Let's Play, you know that I really don't like jinx jinxing myself. Because like the worst things happen when I jinx myself. Like when I get jinxed, I don't just get jinxed; I get proper like annihilated <laughs> with my uh, luck, pretty much. Hey, come close to me. Come to a place where I can attack you. There you go. That's much better. I like it when you're here, where I can attack you. Watch out for that right now. Oh boy, now I'm taking a whole bunch of damage right here, so let's just swap to Bombshell here, to deliver some damage uh, that way. Nice, this guy's uh, very much going down right now. Here we go. Oh boy. Okay, we're going to take this guy off before he ends up dying, because basically I want that No Life's Lost objective, like I really want it. So next up we're going to go with Serious 2 Stump Smash. Luckily I had this guy on my uh, desk right next to me so I could utilise him. And I need to stop dropping the gamepad when I go to swap my Skylanders, man, or else like you guys are going to continue to get a bad angle. And, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys are not appreciative of that bad angle right now. Yeah, I basically chose this guy for one reason, his uh, wow power ability. If you guys have seen my top 10 uh, wow power abilities, you know why it's awesome. But I'm just going to tell you anyway. When you combine it with the acorn path, it's so dang powerful. Like his wow power ability. And I just realised you get like hurt just by being on for grill, not by getting uh, just attacked by the um, like f uh, fire geysers. I suppose because the grill is hot as well, so yeah, you got to keep off the grill uh, entirely. And it would be much more helpful if this guy could actually stay still, but he can't, that's a problem. Okay, there we go, that was a good uh, attack right there. Yeah, this guy's almost done, luckily enough. And, uh, and Bombshell's almost, uh, like, back with us, it would seem. And now the grill's no longer hot, so it doesn't attack us simply by being on the grill. Oh boy. 
I suppose because we're out of burgers. But either way, we're going to swap uh, Stump Smash out because he's getting very low on the health part. Uh, so let's swap out for Boomer. So it's want to be specific because um, Eon's Elite doesn't work in this game. It works on Superchargers onwards, but not on this one specifically. We got the Mine Hat. Awesome. I can't see anything. Don't worry, this guy's almost done though, so uh, luckily he hasn't got much health left for us to worry about. Take this. Oh boy, Boomer's about to be summoning it in, it would seem. Hopefully we can finish him off without dying right here. The only thing here is that I can't really see much because I'm using the gamepad and the gamepad alone. But hey, that doesn't matter because what does matter is that we finally defeated him, so that's awesome. So let's take our magic trap out and replace it with a fire trap. My only fire trap, in fact. Yes, I do like it spicy, Chef Pepper Jack. You know me too well, bud. So now the level has finally been uh, completed, and we can um, head back to the academy without further ado. But first of all, we got some uh, cutscenes, I believe. And triple stars, that's glorious to see. We are victorious, and it is glorious. And not only that, but we also ranked up, so we can receive a nice, um, awesome present from that um, in the next episode. This ain't gonna end well for chaos, isn't it? Yeah, we kind of was suspecting it because Activision kind of spoiled it in a press conference, so yeah.
him anyway. Yeah, don't know. But I might have something back at my old house that could tell us. I call it the information squid. And Callie, since Flynn here's got a bum leg, would you mind flying me and the Skylander out? Wait, what? Oh, and on the way, I can tell you all about a giant fish that lives out there too. Great! How exciting! Well, of course, we're going to deal with all of that in the next episode, but as for this episode, it is indeed coming to an end. So, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. But until then, peace.